Allen was born and raised in the booming metropolis of Hyde Park, and he is a firm believer that zucchini is a noxious weed. He traveled he's traveled extensively and performed at comedy clubs and major universities all across Cache Valley. Let's give a warm welcome to the man who deserves no more introduction, Paul Thornley. Chuck Webster's for that new word, noxious. <laughs> no, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I really am. I just don't know what to do with my hands. Maybe I'll cut them off. I don't know. Leave them right there. Okay. Well, how many of you got dates tonight? You were dates? Brought dates? Yeah! everywhere I go, you know, I figure it's good for, uh, good for a guy like me to have dates that uh, makes me a regular guy. <laughs> you know, uh, I get a little bit nervous up here, so uh, I have to bring a lot of props. Um, for example, uh, I've brought some cue cards just in case I get lost. <laughs> Hope I don't need them. Uh, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I think it's better that way because I don't want to know about you. Um, I was born at a very young age, and I go through puberty all the time, too. Um, I was born at a very young age uh, without a penny to my name or a pocket to put it in. Um, and I was, I was born a skinny kid, uh, a little kid, uh, like most people are, but I stayed kind of that way. Uh, I think it's because my parents, my family were all kind of small, kind of skinny. To give you an example of that, my mother, um, well, she's, we won't, uh, we'll say she's not overly endowed. Um, just to keep it kind of nice. Um, well, she got a bra for her birthday one time, and it was just way too big, you know, of course. And so she took it back to the store, and she says, uh, I got, got to return this, it's too big. And the, the lady at the counter says, well, do you want a, a new bra, or do you just want the money? My mom says, well, I better take the cash, because I'm flat busted. Um, <laughs> So you can kind of understand how, how it kind of runs in the family. I think it's kind of in the genes or something. But uh, no, I was a little kid. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was the Ethiopian poster child once. Uh, I agree with that, though. But uh, I couldn't stand outside and stay in one spot very long because I'd get mistaken for a fence post. Uh, it might sound kind of strange, but I about got nailed once, man. And when that happens, boy, you get wired. Um, I was like all the other little kids, I wanted to play, uh, play some games, I wanted to play sports, so I went and played t-ball. Um, you know, t-ball, it's like baseball, only you hit it off this little thing. Well, they used me as the T. Uh, most kids thought it was a smash, but for some reason I couldn't play heads up ball after that. Um, well, finally one of the bigger kids said, Paul, why don't you just go get a life? So I did. <laughs> I think everybody should have one. Anyway, so I got a life, and I decided that what I needed to do to win friends and influence people was I needed to, uh, to become just somebody that everybody liked, and uh, I learned all sorts of neat tricks, and, and I learned how to do some balloon tricks, but you know what? Um, I blew it tonight. Didn't bring any balloons with me. So I guess that one's out. Um, that's the way it goes. Joke's on me, I guess. But anyway, um, I also learned how to do some impressions. Um, People are, are usually pretty impressed with impressions, and uh, I still remember my first impression. It was about right here, and it hurt like crazy. Um, but I'd just really like to show you a few of them, because uh, I think they're really pretty neat. Like I say, I learned how to do these when I was young, so you know, if they seem a little childish, it's because they are. You know, So what? But here they go. Anyway, um, the number one. I got better, though. You know, I moved on to bigger and better things, like the letter I. And, you know, I was feeling pretty confident, and then somebody says, Paul, why don't you do people? I said, well, like who? And they said, well, pick famous people, like uh, Michael Jackson, for example. I said, I don't grab my crotch for anybody. <laughs> so, well, you could always do presidents of the United States. I said, well, I could do George Bush, but I don't think it'd be prudent at this juncture. Uh, 
You know, but uh, it is kind of interesting that I did used to know how to, uh, to do Ronald Reagan, but for some reason I've just forgotten how. I can't remember anything about that. And I would like to do Bill Clinton for you, but I'm not going to make any promises I can't keep. So, so what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to do some that are a little more original here. Um, the, this next one requires a prop or two. Well, actually, two. Uh, and uh, since, I, since I haven't done this for a little while, like just in the past two minutes, um, I need to practice a little bit, so, so just bear with me. Okay. I understand there's a school to teach you how to do this. Obviously, I need to go to that school, but I haven't been able to juggle my time to fit it in. Here we go. If I can find this ball. I think it's lost. That's okay. I'll just try it with one. I've never done this before with one. Oh, we got another ball. How about that? Thank you. Um, okay, we're back. Now we're going to do our, our impression of a body part. See if you can figure it out, okay? Man, I'm good. I am good looking. Man. I'm a juggler, Bane. <laughs> Thunder's my favorite. Ah, die, die, die! A serial killer. Okay, 